How many times have you experienced fear where it's held you back from going to that next level or achieving what you wanted to achieve? I know that's a silly question, but it happens countless times to many of us. And so what is fear? How does it stop us? Why does it stop us? My name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Today's video is the one thing you must know to overcome fear. We've all had times in our life where we were fearful, right? There might have been a time where you were fearful around, you know, asking that girl out on the first date. There might be, or for the first dance even, right? The first time you were to get a job and your first day there. Or maybe it was you were a little afraid of building your company, starting your company. We all have fears that show up in our life. And one thing I always like to share with clients is that, look, we all, even though we all have fear, you know, we gotta have courage. Courage isn't that you're not fearful at all, right? The most, you know, courageous people you could think of, they still experience fear, but courage is when you experience fear and still move forward. That is courage. A lot of people think that you got to be this, you know, perfect person. Like you can't have fear. You got to destroy it all and just think positive. And I wish it was that simple, but it's not. That's not how fear works. Fear, when fear really kicks in, it's like our body goes into fight or flight, right? Like cortisol starts pumping through our body. We go into this fight or flight response. And depending on the situation, you very much warrant fear in that situation. Like if you're skydiving or if someone breaks into your house or if you're afraid of heights and you're in an aircraft, right? Like whatever that situation might be, we all have that fear. But the one thing you must know to overcome fear is that it's not as scary as you think. See, in our mind, we make up all these things about the situation on hand, like, oh my goodness, you know, I, I'm afraid of heights, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna die, right? Uh, I'm gonna freeze up there, right? Whatever that fear is, it's not always as scary as when you go through it. Now, the only way to overcome fear is to actually do it. And I know that sounds counterintuitive, but you gotta take massive action because Fear is like a barrier, and when you go to it, you kind of like stop at that edge, you're like, oh, you know, and all those thoughts are pumping through our head, you can't do it, you're not good enough, you're gonna die, you're gonna lose everything, she's not gonna love you, she's gonna cheat on you, he's gonna cheat on you, whatever that is, we kind of bump up. But what we need to do is we gotta go through it, we gotta go over it, around it, or under it, or make a door, whatever you wanna call it, but we, your success is on the other side of that fear. And no matter what you're doing in your life, there's always going to be barriers of fear that you know surround you. And until you understand fear and you don't work against it, where there's this resistance, I don't want fear, you embrace fear, you bring it in, you make it part of you, you know, like, hey, I know I'm going to be scared moving forward and I'm going to do it anyway because once I go through it, one, it won't be as bad. And number two, all the things that I desire, all the success or all the love or all the health that I want is on that other side. So if there's one thing that I can encourage you to do today is to go through the fear, but to remember, it's not as scary as you think it is. For example, <clears throat> I remember when I was in boot camp and I have, I don't like heights. I, you know, I just kind of have this little fear of heights. All those stories I was just sharing, they show up for me, but I still do things. And I remember at one part in boot camp, you go through a free fall for about, I think it's like three or four stories. You free fall down, you know, on a rope and you're like, you, when you stick your arm out, it's like you just drop. And when you pull it in, it's like it stopped you, right? And so on that repel tower, you push off, you jump and you're free falling, baby. Um, and then there's, then you got to go back up and, and run down the wall because there's a, another side that has a wall. And I remember <clears throat> being so scared up there. And I was a squad leader, right? I had like 20, 30 people in my squad that were watching me because I had to go first, right? Remember this, leaders go first. And so I had to go first and I was scared, you know, scared shitless, right? And I remember sitting up there, you know, you gotta hold on after you got your contraption set up and you're leaning back and you're now perpendicular with the repel wall or, you know, going straight down, right? Kind of a parallel to the ground. And I remember the drill instructor said, go, and I had to push off. I was so scared in that moment, but I, I remember in my head, I said, I wouldn't be up here and we wouldn't be doing this if it was gonna kill people, you know, 
doing it, right? And I remembered saying that this is safe and I can do this and I did, I jumped, I did it. And honestly, one of the coolest things happened to me. I had a blast. I remember doing that and then I had to go run back up and I had to repel the wall. And I remember being afraid of heights and the second time I went up, it was scary, but it wasn't as scary as the first time because I already had a reference in my brain that it wasn't as scary. In the beginning when there's the unknown, it's super scary. And what's cool is I found myself wanting to do it more. I wanted to go again. I actually enjoyed it, even though every time I went up, I was still scared. So anyway, fear is not as scary as you think it is. We just make up all these stories and picture things in our head that are way worse than they actually are. So what I'm going to encourage you guys to do is just know, right? It's like when you go through, when you go through a traffic jam, you know that it's going to take time. So you're not as frustrated when you go through it. Same thing with fear. You know it's gonna be scary, but when you go through it, you'll find it's not as scary as what you think it is. And even if it was for whatever reason, even if it was even worse than you thought, you go through it and you will be more successful on the other side. I can't tell you how many times a business, you know, I see people myself in my own business, but also in business when I coach people, how they're afraid to hire someone, fire someone, invest in a system, create a system, divert the product, innovate, spend money on marketing ads, whatever that might be, that fear. But then when we get them to break through the fear on the other side, and they're like, Oh, it's not as scary as they thought. Because what happens is when we have fear, we start to expand it once we go through it and we expand it again. And it'll never go back. That fear can never go back because we'll have a reference after we expanded it that, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. And then it, you just, through life, you keep expanding fear. And so that's where all the courage comes from. But once fear is so expanded, there's like, there's people now that they may experience fear, fear, but they know it's not true because they've they expanded their fear bubble so big that every, so much in their life fits in that. But the true test, the true growth is going to find where's that outer edge of that fear bubble and going through it, expanding even more. And that's what makes life so fulfilling. That's what makes life so adventurous, right? And so many of us were just living so unfulfilled, so unadventurous that it's like the same thing over and over because we stay in our comfort zone because that bubble of fear keeps us there. We all heard the cliche saying, you know, the life of your dreams is on the other side of fear or outside of your comfort zone. So true, even though cliche is so true. But I'm telling you, you have you have to take that massive action. But what's going to allow you to do that, do that is the psychology is that it's not as scary as you think it is. And so there's things in my life currently I'm about to go through, I'm going through that I have to keep reminding myself it's not as bad as you think it is. And even if it was, you're going to come out stronger and better on the other side, as long as it don't kill you. All right. And so as long as it doesn't kill you now, don't, don't go jumping from one skyscraper to the next with no harness or anything like that. That's a, you know, I'm not promoting that, but you got to do what you got to do to get to that next level. Fear holds us back the most. So if you remember that your whole life can change. So with that, hope you found this video valuable. Hit that like button, subscribe, make sure you turn on that notification. If you feel like you're just stuck in that bubble of fear and you want, you know you gotta break through, you just can't seem like it. It's like you keep hitting the wall and bouncing back. Go into the description, fill out the one-on-one -on -one coaching application to work with one of our power uh, powerhouse coaches. And then most importantly, I'd love for you guys to comment. What did you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Fill me in. I just want to hear the raw truth about what you think. So with that, my name's Joe Moffitt with Master Life by Design. Have a great one. See ya.